Hey, it's Christopher here with another episode of What's Brewing, where today I'm talking about the small rig cage for the Canon PowerShot V10. But before we get into this video, let's roll that beautiful B-roll. Hey, Christopher here, and welcome back to the channel where I'm talking about the Canon PowerShot V10 small rig cage. So when you order it um, from either Amazon or directly from small rig, um, it will come in a box that looks like this. Now let's talk a bit about the contents of what comes with the cage, and I'll of course show it and uh, things, my, my thoughts on it. Uh, so when you get the, the cage unit, it's going to come with a lens cap, uh, an Allen wrench. It's going to come with two circular mounting or, or magnetic plates for the um, dead cat or the speaker windbreakers, if you will, uh, or the furry windshields, as they're called. It's got a little storage case here. So I'm going to give you my two cents on this and how this is semi-helpful, but also doesn't quite fit when you put everything on. And then last up, the user manual that goes over all the things that I'm reading right now. Let's take a moment and go through kind of what it takes to assemble this. So uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it's fully mounted. It's got a Mickey Mouse-esque uh, profile here. You'll see uh, the windshields uh, kind of give it this unique character. Um, there's the lens cap. We've got the actual cage and you've got some cold, uh, cold shoes here to be able to attach uh, various accessories to it. Um, so over on the side here, you'll notice there's a small button right there. If you select this, you can actually lift up. Uh, notice that these are these are indeed magnetic. Um, and you can kind of lift it up here and then take the entire power shot out very quickly and easily. Um, so let's walk through uh, how this thing is assembled. One of the big features I like about this small rig uh, is that it comes with a lens cap. If you haven't checked out my video that goes over the Canon PowerShot, this is actually one of the things that they've solved for me, which is the ability to simply put on a small little case so I can lay this flat down. That's kind of a big deal for me. When we look at the actual case construction, it's made out of pretty durable plastic. Um, on the very bottom here, you'll see there's a small uh, metal sort of rod to hold in place the actual power shot um, so it doesn't actually screw in here uh, it just fits in so when we go ahead and place it in the rig snap this into place just like that and now you've got yourself a nice case on the top part of the things that you need to do when you are putting this together is there are some um, small spherical um, magnetic plates that go directly over the, the speakers here or the microphones. Um, so these can actually attach these windshields here. They come off very easily, so just be aware of that. This is both a good and a bad thing. If you're not careful, if you brush these windshields up against something, uh, they will absolutely uh, very quickly fall off. Um, so uh, I have not lost them yet, but I fully expect that to potentially happen. On the side here, we've actually got uh, a place where you could attach either lights or uh, an additional microphone um, to it. And that's kind of the idea. It does increase the overall profile of the case with these on there. And again, so you might want to have an Allen wrench. And if, if, you're a, if you're a video or photo person, you probably have some multi-tool that has this. But uh, it does come with that case. And I said I would talk about that. So if you try to... Uh, if you try to fit this into this case here, which I really like, um, it's kind of a tight fit. Um, so we'll we'll kind of shimmy it on here, but it gets a little tough uh, with these uh, these sort of protruding accessory holders. So I'm going to go ahead and detach these here uh, with the included Allen wrench. I actually took these off and put them back on just to make this video because I don't expect to keep them on unless I plan on uh, attaching like an external microphone like a Rode or Sennheiser mic just to see if the audio quality gets better. Again, if you watch my other video, you heard that the audio quality is good, but when I was walking and showing that clip, um, there was a water fountain, there was a lot of traffic, it was wind, you can kind of catch all that and sometimes a directional mic will, will be handy. 
So when you take those little accessories off and then slide it into the case, it's a whole heck of a lot easier uh, now. And notice when I do this, everything kind of fits in nice and tight. Uh, I'm going to be traveling with this to Europe and Africa, and this is probably how I'm going to be storing it. I'm, I'm using a Shimoda um, Action X v version 2 30 liter uh, bag um, with one of their core units. So I'll be sticking this in a nice little pocket. So it should be safe. But the reason I'm using this is to protect the back screen. Um, one of the things I mentioned in my video was that this is kind of exposed and I'll, I'm really interested to see if some of these sort of, you know, uh, screen companies are going to come up with something like, like they do for iPhone or, or other screens just to, as a screen protector. Uh, if they do, that's probably going to be one of the first things that I buy because this really, it hasn't scratched yet, but I absolutely could see that um, getting damaged really quick and easy. Anyway, this video is not sponsored by Small Rig or Canon, uh, so these thoughts are my own, but um, I should have ordered this probably as soon as I ordered this product. Um, I actually ordered it from Amazon, and it was, I think, not going to come in until July, uh, like in a couple weeks. So I, I went directly to Small Rig's website, and I was able to get it here within like 72 hours. Um, let me give you my thoughts on this product and then we'll wrap. Um, one, I would recommend if you're buying the Canon PowerShot version 10 um, to get this case. Uh, on the very first day that it arrived, I had attached it to some kind of accessory, had it in my lap, I was in my car, and if you've ever dropped a piece of equipment, you know exactly how quickly your heart will sink when something slides off your lap onto concrete, and that's exactly what happened. Um, and uh, thankfully, there is minimal damage. The PowerShot is a rugged device, but um, things like these cages are great for, again, attaching accessories, but also for a level of protection to take on any kind of damage instead of the, the product, of course, receiving that damage. So highly recommend it if you're going to be out and about with it. It's very easy to drop. And um, like any product, like, like a um, Insta360 or like a GoPro. So not anything that's the, the detraction from this product, but I think just the very nature of anything you're holding in your hands, like an, like a phone or, or a camera, they're prone to drop very easily. So this is a, this is a must. If you're going to make this a, a really dedicated recording device, I would also say having some of these accessories to add other attachments or other things to it. I think that's actually really cool. So anyway, a uh, huge fan of it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for links directly to Small Rig and to Amazon um, if you want to go check these out. Prices may change based on who you're buying from, uh, if it's a reseller or directly from them. But uh, I found that based on the cost of the device, the accessory cost, it was a worthwhile investment and uh, why I made this video. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below. If you have been shooting with the power shot or if you are familiar with small rigs accessories, which are amazing, uh, let me know your thoughts about them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, crush the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with everything we're producing. As always, we hope you're doing well. We hope you're staying safe and we'll see you in the next one.